Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Limitless Be a WL. I have a get ready with me for you guys today. So I'm just going to this like party thing, but yeah, I thought I'm gonna get ready, so might as well film. I can't tell if the lighting is dark or not, so if it is dark, I'm sorry. I wear this top all the time, I know. I love it. Just don't mind me, I wear the same thing more than once, I'm human. So yeah, I'm just gonna do like this like kind of burnt gold eye with like a glossy lip again something basic but since I'm actually going out I'm not gonna be wearing a lot of color on my face and stuff like that you guys know the drill for my last get ready with me obviously I do have like a big scar on my face it's not an actual blemish it's just the scar I guess left over and yeah that's about it it's so hot it's so hot in my room I'm so scared that my like makeup is gonna melt before I'm even done so Saying that, let's get into an update on the Pro Filter Foundation a Primer. I really love it. I'm probably gonna end up purchasing it because I love it. I think it makes a pretty big difference on my skin in terms of the makeup application. And uh, it doesn't break me out, so hip hip hooray. Hit my brows, but for some reason the product was not attaching to my brows, like going on my brows like right here and at the bottom for some reason. God knows why. But we're gonna go ahead and kind of correct our face. So I'm just going to show you guys the difference between when I color correct and when I don't color correct just so you guys can see the difference it makes as well. So obviously it's all inside of the face and I like blending it with my fingers as we all know. The only negative I have about this color corrector is that like the product eventually starts to come on your hands like the packaging and it's so annoying because you can't even like take it off with your hand like. I hate that. I hate that so much. There we go. You guys can already see the difference with my skin simply with just color correcting. I literally don't have foundation on my skin, no concealer or anything, and you guys can see the difference. So it's really important to do this. I know I can look a little bit gray right now, but that's just literally because it's a little bit light for me, the orange, because I'm still like losing my tan from summertime, if that makes sense. So I'm just going to do the rest of the face, and I'll be back. Okay, so now that we did that, we're going to be using the Fenty foundation in my review. Well, like, first impressions, I totally forgot to shake it. It does say shake well, you know, the packaging, so that was totally my fault. So we're just going to go ahead and apply it. I definitely feel like the shade is a little bit light for me currently. So there we have it. I did have to add about, like, three layers on the scarves part today. I don't know why I had to add more, but it's totally fine. It doesn't really matter. And we're going to go in with suede under the eyes. Um, I definitely don't think this is as bright as I like, so I'm going to put another concealer on top of it. So I just went ahead and blended it out. And you guys can see when I blend it out, it looks like almost, like, really not anything. So I'm going in with the NYX concealer and just uh, putting it a little bit on top for extra brightness. I'm gonna use the contour stick today just because I really don't care to. My face already feels really, really oily because it's super hot. As you can see, I already baked my face. All products will be listed down below. And we're just gonna contour those cheekbones. Um, I was gonna say something. So, I don't know if you guys can tell, and I don't know if I mentioned this in my last video, but I gained back a lot of weight, like almost like eight, nine pounds, maybe even 10. I had lost 17 pounds. So gaining that much weight back is like a big difference. So starting Monday, we're going to get back on track. And I will be stop chatting, maybe vlogging. We'll see how I feel about vlogging. I'm still not like perfectly fine yet. But we'll see. Definitely want to be in the best shape I can be before my birthday, which is in January, which I still have a few months for. So I'm giving myself a really good amount of time instead of like really rushing it and being like, oh, I have to lose weight, I have to lose weight, and then being disappointed when I don't. I'm giving myself a healthy amount of time. There we go. Healthy amount of time to feel and look better. Oh my god, guys, you have no idea how hot I am. Like my whole body is sweating. Okay, so now my face is like baking. And for some reason, I find it really satisfying to look at myself like this. I don't know why, but the lines just look like crisp. Obviously, this part's a little bit lower, but I am. Whatever, you guys know I really don't care that much when I'm going out. I would love it if you guys could tell me a good bronzer for our complexion. So for like a really dark complexion, if you guys could tell me a bronzer, if any of you use it, I would love to know. Because I like to put my contour up higher to give that warm brown look. But if there's like a bronzer out there, it would be perfect. So I just kind of like have an idea. I feel like the under looks like really light. I can't really tell, man. I can't see with this ring light. But um, I just want to go for like a kind of like a... Still kind of 
kind of like a bronzy kind of look if that makes sense but not like my typical bronzy look so I'm gonna use Toyed from NARS because you guys know I love it especially my natural looks I'll take this on my all time favorite blush as we know I'm gonna be using the ABH highlight I mean sun dip high sun dip glow kit <laughs> as always I could find a single in this bronze shade. Like, look at this nose highlight. I feel like it's a little too much. But, like, if I could find a single... Girl. Oh my god, it looks so glowy. I promise it's my ring light and it does not look that intense in the mirror. Maybe it does. Maybe it does. I don't know. Whatever. I love the glow. So, now for the eyes. As you can tell, I've already primed the eyes. Actually, I don't know if you can tell. But... I'm sorry I keep looking this way, it's just like all my product is over there, but um, I like using a powder to just like make everything even tone. I don't say it in all my videos just because like I used it in all my previous videos, but I have a lot of new followers, subscribers and all that stuff, and they always ask me how to get rid of the darkness on my eye. So that's what I do, you can use a shadow powder or whatever, as long as you're setting your primer with a color similar to your skin tone, literally all over your lid, it's going to get the job done, and it's going to make your eyeshadow last much longer because you're setting the primer as well. I personally like using a dense brush just because my skin is so oily and it like helps. It's not the best for your eyes obviously, but you could definitely get the job done with the fluffy brush as well. So we're going to be using the Huda Beauty Rose Gold Palette today. And I don't even know what we're going to create yet, but I just know it's going to be pretty basic. So bear with me. I do have a lot of fall looks coming which are going to be really glamorous and like plummy, dark, bold, vampy, all that stuff. It's just Tim going out. Don't want to look crazy. So... Not that you look crazy when you do that stuff, it's just I just don't want to wear a lot of makeup. When I am wearing a lot of makeup, that doesn't make sense. Like, I just don't want to... I don't know what to, how to explain it. I just don't want to wear colorful eyeshadow. I just don't want to look too bold. There we go. So I'm going in with the shade Henna. Transition shade. I'm really buffing this out, as you can see, compared to normal, just because I really wanted to look blown out. I'm going in with the shade Coco, with like my favorite blending brush ever. It is the Sigma E40. E40, love it. I do have a discount code for Sigma, which like I never ever shared with you guys, but I do have it. If I remember, I'll put it down. I mean, if I can find my link, I'll put it down below. So we're doing the same, but just not buffing it out as much. this black eyeshadow I mean eyeliner gel liner from MAC and we're just gonna apply this on the lid it doesn't have to be intense or anything because we're gonna put an eyeshadow on top of it but just do like a little bit like that then even blend with your finger so now that we did that this is kind of how I do black smoky eye too but not really if you guys want an updated video on how to achieve a perfect black smoky eye well like my way I would love to do that for you guys you can see I got carried away with this one I wasn't able to blend it as much because I put too much product it's fine though we're gonna go in with the shade Dubai which is just like really nice like dark gold it's so nice I don't know how to describe it so as you guys know these shadows work best with your fingers my nails are ratchet I haven't done them I know. So we're just gonna dab it. Oh, so pretty. So, so pretty. A tip for colors like this, where it's like hard for you to blend it near the top of the crease, is just to like lightly like dust it for it to touch the crease. Because like if you're just gonna pat it, obviously it's not gonna like, look as blended. And then you wanna take a little bit more and just like put it right in the center just so it really pops there. I was really obsessed with how the black and the gold look together. So we're just gonna go ahead and smoke out the bottom of the eye. I'm not going to do a top liner because I just like how it looks on its own. I'm not a fan. Another way to wear this eye would also be to smoke out the outside with the black. I just didn't want to do that again because it was so really similar to my last look. But yeah, I'm just putting on liner. Now that we did that, we're going to go ahead and smoke out the bottom. If this was just for an Instagram video, I would really, really smoke it out. I mean, for like a YouTube video, I would really smoke it out. But since I'm going out a little bit, I'm going to smoke it out a tiny bit. Okay guys, so I just put some Huda Beauty and Samantha lashes on and we're gonna go ahead and do the lips. I feel like, I don't know what to do with the hair. What was that? What did I just say? I don't know what to do with my hair, but my brows look like so horrendous. I don't know why they always look like that when I want to go somewhere. If I'm at home just filming, they always come out nice. And then when I'm like, I actually have to do something, like 
they look like this. I'm gonna go ahead with the shade Crucifix by Kat Von D. It's just this like deep brown uh, lip liner. I love her lip liners. I know they did send me it, but like honestly, I love them so much. Like they're so smooth, retractable, which is perfect. And we're just gonna kind of create an ombre and then put a gloss on top. So the only lip liner that I've been really wearing is Sepia by Anastasia and I absolutely love it but sorry lip gloss but if you guys have any lip gloss recommendations for our skin tone I would love to hear because I'm really liking a gloss so we're just going to go ahead and apply it. So this was my original intention with my hair just to split it in the middle but because it cut off my forehead it looks crazy like this <laughs> but it's fine. This is the final look guys. I hope you guys like this get ready with me. I can't stand my short hair. I hate it so much. But I hope you guys like this video and I will see you guys in my next videos. If you guys have any looks you'd like me to film, videos you'd like me to film, whatever it may be, leave them down below and I will do that for you. Bye guys!